If you need to update your deck, go to 50cards.shop. Get 5% off your next purchase when you use code NEXUS. Hey guys, welcome back to another deck profile. I'm Richard, and today I'm bringing you my updated Gurgit slash Percival V Premium deck profile. Before, we had a choice restriction between Gurgit and Percival, meaning you couldn't run them in the same deck for V Premium. But now, Percival is just straight up a restricted to one copy in every Gold Paladin deck, meaning that Gurgit got slightly buffed after the choice restriction. So I'm gonna be showing you guys my updated V Premium deck for Gurgit with this new ban list. So we're just gonna go off with tradition, starting with our starter, Knight of Early Dawn, Coel. It was the starter for G era for Gurgit when we had Unite, so we just gotta keep the same theme. And also it's the only Gold Paladin starter that comes SP, so pretty, pretty shiny, shiny. All right, onto our grade three, starting off with Four copies, Sunrise, Rain, Night, Gurgit. So this is our main ride. Whole focus of the deck, you want to ride this the whole game. Uh, if you don't ride it, ride it, you're going to fall behind, basically. So the first skill is, during your turn, if your opponent's vanguard's at grade 3 or greater, this unit and all your units placed by card abilities get 5k when they're placed. So if you place it by calling it with Gurgit or calling it with Sagamore, Percival, Wonderezel, anything that calls... Uh, mock slash dragon it will get an extra pa it'll get an extra 5k for every marker you have the second skill is when this unit attacks or when it's attacked count of plus one look at top five pick up to two call two and then you shuffle the rest back in your deck if it's your opponent's turn you call them to the guardian circle instead so great defensive skill great offensive skill and the offensive skill gets even better when you have the first skill active or the things being called get that extra bonus for every marker you have so Gurgit's just a great card, and look how beautiful he is. Look at that artwork. How can you not love this card? Anyways, going on to our next grade threes, we're running four copies of Battlefield Storm Sagamore. So Sagamore has just always been a great resource card since it came out in Standard, or sorry, V Premium, V Series. So Sagamore skills when it's placed on Vanner Rear, so plus one, draw a card, call something. So even if you're using it just to kind of like build a board, drawing a card and being able to call something at least helps you kind of balance your hand out. So that's really good. It's still a good ride just because it has the Excel marker and the on place draw and call something. Helps you proc off effects of Dindrain since that works when it's called by a card ability. And it helps boost um, units called, you know, via card ability. So Gurgit skill active, anything called off Sagamore will get that extra power. So you definitely want to run Sagamore at four. Next up, one of the biggest MVPs of the deck, which is Mox Slash Dragon. It's when it attacks, you kind of blast one, you choose a card from your hand, you call it, this unit gets 5k. So it's a 17k attacker, and then whatever you call is going to get that power from Gurgit's skill as well. So this can help you extend your attacks during your battle phase, and also... If you call this out with Gurgit's ability, you already just found your next extender for your attacks. This thing closes out majority of the Gurgit games, um, so that's why it's so important. So if you're playing against this deck and you see this on the board, you pretty much want to kill it. So we're running three copies just so we can see it more consistently. Um, I've seen some lists that are running it at four. That's totally applicable as well. You can totally do that. I think three to four is the range that you want to be running it in this deck anything less than that you're pretty much like not using it to its full potential so definitely want to run mock slash in the gurgit deck next up for one of bluish flame liberator percival he's back percival skill is van all your units on additional markers get 5k second skill is van or rear when it's placed if your current vanguard is grade 3 or greater counterblast discard a card get another excel gift then search your deck or drop zone for Aglavale, call it, and if you call from the deck, you shuffle, and then you can only use the effect of Percival once per turn, but you only run one in the whole deck, so it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, this is great, just because Gurgit's ability obviously gives you more power the more markers you have, so Percival gives you more markers, and you know it's a continuous ability, meaning that even if you call up Percival with Gurgit's skill, um, the units that you called previously are still going to be affected by the continuous ability, so everything will just get buffed mid-battle phase. So it's a great card to have for the deck, and the biggest reason why Gurgit got buffed. 
Lastly, for grade three normal units, um, I'm running one copy of Edmund just because it's a slightly better Aglavale. Um, I would just say that just because it has the same skill. It's when you pick another unit, move it, in, uh, move it into your to your soul. This gets 10k, and at the end of the battle, it bounces. Uh, it has another skill as well. Uh, when it's placed on the guard circle, if your current Vanguard's grade three, this has 10k shield. So it has more shield, slightly more power. And um, the only reason I'm really running is just for those Excel and Protect matchups so that I can swing for 22 base and then extra power from like Gurgit's ability and triggers and things will help hit those magic numbers. You could definitely run this as a fourth mock slash if you'd like as well, but I'm kind of doing this more to like keep up with the power and kind of like push for more, you know, numbers. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for the normal unit grade threes. Moving on to our grade twos, starting off with four copies of Oath Liberator Aglavale. Aglavale's skill is like Edmund, like I said before. Uh, I would just start with that skill. The second skill is when it attacks, you put another unit into your soul, or another rear guard. This gets 10k, and the battle it bounces to your hand. The first skill is when it's ridden, or when you ride it, when it's placed on van. Count last one, look at top three, call one, the rest go to bottom. So it's like a tra the traditional Aglavale skill, where it's like, look at top three, call something, rest go to bottom. So it's your go-to ride, pretty much, um, because it helps you fill your board, and it's a really great beat stick. It's searchable with Percival, you can call it from the drop, or, you know, through the deck, so it helps you deck thin. But mostly it's just like, it's a really, really good beat stick, so that's why I'm running it at four. Moving on to our next card, running four copies of Flame Wind Wine, Wonder Ezel. Wonder Ezel skill, we're using it for the second skill, which is when it's placed, you call a card from your hand. So because that's technically a card ability, whatever you call with Wonder Ezel's ability gets the power from Gurkha's skill. So if you have three markers, call Wonder Ezel, Wonder Ezel calls something, the something gets 15k. And this also works during the battle phase. So if you're swinging with Gurgit, you call this from Gurgit's skill. This activates, call another thing from your hand. You just called three things. All three are getting power for each marker you have. Um, this also works well with Sagramore. It works well with Mox Slash Dragon, just as an extender. Definitely want to run four just to, you know, keep beating your opponent with big numbers. Lastly, for grade twos, I am running two copies of Berengaria because this deck gets really counterblast heavy. So Berengaria, we're using it for its skill of when it's placed on rear by a card ability, you pick one of the following, and we're using the Soul Blast 1, Counter Charge 1. There's also an option for Counter Blast 1 to Soul Charge, but you don't really need to worry about Soul since we have Aglabale and Edmin filling up your Soul a lot whenever they attack. So pretty much just using it for the Soul Blast Counter Charge. It's like running a Grade 2 Dindrain. So yeah, and since it's by card ability, you can proc it with Sacramore and Wonder Ezel as well. So it's a good two of. Now we're moving on to grade ones, starting off with four copies of Dawning Knight Gorbaduck, kind of like the OG. We're running it in Gurgit. The first skill is when it's placed on banner rear from hand. Look at top five, look for grade three, add it to hand, shuffle. And if you put one in your hand, you discard one. Second is if you call two or more things, it gets 5k. So it's kind of like Unite. Uh, we're definitely want to be running for just because not only do we want to guarantee that we ride into Gurgit, we want to search for Percival. If we can find Percival off this, that'll just make our game go way better just getting that extra marker. It's also just good in general searching for Sagamore and Mox Slash Dragon. Just all the great threes are super good targets for the deck, so Gorber deck is very helpful whenever you just throw it down. And next up more resource management. We're running four copies of Listener of Truth, Dindrain. Dindrain is when it's placed by a card ability. You can Soul Blast one and pick one of the following, either draw or counter charge. If you counter charge, it gets 3k. So it can be a 10k booster or beat stick if you counter charge. It can help you draw cards if you just need to fill your hand and get more stuff. And it's just whenever it's called by a card ability. So Sagamore, Mox Slash, Wonder Ezel, Gurgit. These are all things to proc opt in drain so it's a really good card to have for the deck and lastly for grade ones i'm running two copies of fast chase limiter Josephus. Josephus has a good vanguard skill of when it's rode on top of you can look at the top card of your deck and if it's a unit you can you can call it to rear you don't have to if you choose not to you can leave it on the top of your deck like if it's a trigger you could just leave it there 
but it helps you build your board and it's a good on-ride skill. The second skill is what's also really important. It's when it's placed on the rear guard circle from your deck, you soul blast one to counter charge, then soul blast one to draw. So you could either do both or one or the other, which is what I really like about the card. So it only works when it's called from deck, so that means you have to use it through Gurgit's skill. But because Gurgit lets you look through the top five, it is pretty likely that you will see it. But the more most important reason why we're running these last two is because we need to fill more grade one space uh, just for like ride consistency. But other than that, it's still a good booster. And the fact that it lets you draw and counter charge when it's placed makes it a really good resource card. So now we're moving on to triggers. Starting off with our grade three trigger, our heal guardian, clarity wing dragon. Clarity wing is just like all the other heal guardians. When it's placed for, to guard circle from your hand, if you did not write a grade three this whole game, you can pick one of the following. Give your vanguard 10k for the turn, or reduce the crit of an attacking unit by two till the end of the battle. So you can just make your opponent's unit minus two crit just for that battle. Second skill is if you have no damage, or yeah, if you have no damage, you can call, you call this from hand. You put the top carry deck in your damage zone, so you have some counter blast to work with. So Kill Guardians are pretty much what the V Premium meta is defined around right now. So we definitely want to run those just so that our grade two turns, we can kind of like stay alive a little bit longer. Next up, we got four copies of our draw PGs because PGs are great and draw triggers are great. So Halo Shield Mark, Sentinel, you know, PGs. They, they do what PGs do. All right, now we're going on to the good stuff. I'm running three Schnack and two Flame of Victories. So we're running five crits. And then lastly, I'm running three fronts, the Nalas. So the reason why I'm going with this ratio is I was going back and forth between deciding if I wanted to do crits or if I wanted to do fronts. And I did fronts at Springfest and it was fine. Um, but I wanted to try and do crits, so I threw in crits, and I was like, you know what, let's like mix it up, because at the end of the day, no matter what trigger you get when you're swinging with Gurgit, crits and fronts are both good, and you know what's also really good is to get a crit and a front, so I was just kind of messing around with this, the lineup works really well for me, but for the most part, any trigger lineup, either 8 front, 8 crit, 4 4, you can do 4 crit, 4 front, it all works just fine. I really don't think that there's one that's better than the other. It just really has to go with what your play style you want your Gurgit deck to be. And I think it'll work out just fine. So this is what I use for my deck. I like it a lot. You guys can do whatever you want. The fronts and the crits are both really good. So that's pretty much it for the deck profile. Um, if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, go ahead and leave them in the comments section below. And besides that, I just really have to say that I'm really glad that both Percival and Gurgit can be played in the same deck together. It is kind of sad that Percival got hit um, for pretty much every other Gold Paladin deck just because I really liked Bluish Flame a lot. But you know what? I think this is just going to be have to be my go-to V Premium deck for now. Um, hopefully I'll get some games in with this deck in the near future. I know I'm always saying this with decks, but we're going to try and get some more V Premium decks going in the future. Promise. All right. That's it for me, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.